for this problem, which is a continuation from the last, from the two-stage CMOS op amp, F of T was 300 megahertz, FP1 was 5.8 megahertz, FP2 was found as 430 megahertz, and FZ was found as 289 megahertz. This is typically what you want to have to have the stable system. You want FP1 to be the cutoff frequency for the two-stage op amp. FT will then cross before FP2 and FZ. In this case, we have F of T and F of Z pretty close to each other. So that is going to look like this. It's going to follow the same one, but right before, it's actually going to have a change of 60 or 40 dB because of the two, or the change here of a 20 dB from FZ. So it will go down to minus 40 dB per decade until it hits FP2, and then it will drop off even more to the minus 60. So this crossover point, FT, because it's going to be pretty close, we can still write the overall equation for this Bode plot <coughs> in the form of the gain, overall gain, which is here, A. It will have a zero, which is a a positive zero, so it will actually be the form S over 289 meg plus, or I mean a minus one, instead of a plus one, and then the two poles, 5.8 megahertz, uh, 430 megahertz, plus one. So to find the phase margin, we can still approximate it as 180 degrees minus the total from this equation. So be the inverse tangent of the, um, and we're going to do it at f of t where it's crossing. So it's going to be f of t over 5.8 megahertz and the inverse tangent from the second pole will be f of t over 430 meg and then the subtraction because of the zero is a positive zero instead of negative it will still be a subtraction for the numerator f of t over 289 meg so calculating this out with f of t at 300 megahertz, this gives a value of 88.9. And so this is always going to be the case where fp1 will always be a lot less than f of t, so it will be approximately 90. So when we've talked about this in the past, that's why this has always been approximately 90 degrees minus these two. Those values for the inverse tangent of f of t over 430 meg, that's 34.9 degrees. And this one is 46 degrees. So all of this together gives approximately 10 degrees. So the phase margin at 10 is definitely not stable. In order to make it stable, this is one of the things that definitely needs to be changed. So the F of Z is way bigger than FP2 and FP1.